Jesus said something amazing 2,000 years ago. He said, the Father and I are one. Which I think is amazing because if you think of God as the creator or the, the prime cause and Christ as the effect or the perfect extension of that prime cause, the Father and I are one, it means in heaven that God and Christ are not two separate beings, that they're just one spirit of love. And this world is the belief that cause and effect are separate, somehow that the Son or the Christ could leave the Father, or leave the Creator, and have its own autonomous life. Life in form, life in, in te the temporary. And what I discovered as I looked close at that is that everything we study in this world, every, I was in university for 10 years, undergrad and grad, every discipline that you study in this world, as different as they are, they all have one commonality, and that's the belief in causes and effects in this world. The belief that cause and effect are separate. The cause comes first and the effect comes second. And every perception in this world is a denial that cause and effect are together. That, that Christ is an idea in the mind of God and has not left its source. So this whole world is an attempt, an authority problem, a question of who is my author? Was I authored by time and space? Do I have parents and conception as my beginning? Or do I have a divine parent, a divine source? Though that's what we're deciding between every second of every day. Who's your daddy? <laughs> All we have to do is solve that one riddle. Who's your daddy? <laughs> and then you're happy. <laughs> Imagine that. Every question, every struggle of the world, politics, environmental, I mean all the things that the mind just goes around and around and it's really a question of source. Who is my source? Is love my source? When we give in to that and we accept that, then everything changes, absolutely everything.